really concerned about this. Who makes a device that looks like that? Ben, ben, ben it's not ben, worth it. Ben, 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 we are Sorted, a group of mates from London exploring the newest and best in the world of food whilst trying to have a few laughs along the way. <laughs> we've got chefs, we've got normals, and a whole world of stuff for you to explore, but everything we do starts with you. Hello, I'm Jamie and this is Barry. Where's that hickey? <laughs> yeah. Right, you've seen the clip. Yes, this is probably our best ever gadget video ever. Ever? Ever. We've decided to mix things up a little bit. We're still going to get our chefs to review some kitchen gadgets, but they're going to do them at the same time. I'm not sure how this is going to go. Check, 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 check. Boys, open your eyes and lift the cloche. Ta da! Double coverage. Oh! Oh my word! <laughs> is that what I think that is? It's a thingy thing. For a kebab. This is the One Concept Kebab Master Pro Vertical Grill. Pre-marinated meat. Wowza. So what we've done for you is uh, finely sliced some lamb leg into thin strips and then marinated it using a, a marinade or rub actually from one of the packs uh, with a whole load of other stuff thrown in there for fun. We'll chuck the rub slash marinade ingredients um, down in the description for those of you who want to recreate it. It smells great and that is not a quick marinade, that has been doing its thing for a while. Yeah. Smells kebabby, doesn't it? it? Smells great. Excuse me, Ben. Yeah, James, I've done that thing where I've touched meat and now I can't touch the instructions. <laughs> I like it when we're on our own. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it actually comes with um, dangly skewers as well if you wanted to do um, shish. And or a selection of small vegetables or things. You could do multiple things dangled like mushrooms on here. Cool. Yeah, we, we thought we want you to layer up a proper donna It'd be a lot easier if there wasn't two chefs. <laughs> and a machine between them. It's so true. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, whoa! Oh my goodness, it's amazing! Well, I'm excited. We have a whole kebab shop salad bar waiting for you to pack your own kebabs. Boys, turn it on. Let's come back to this in 30 to 40 minutes. Chefs, yes. you can open your eyes now and lift the cloche. Child, isn't he? <laughs> what do we think? We gotta have a guess before we even open it. What's shaking in there? Oh, oh, grinder. Coffee grinder. Not quite. This is the Wakako Nano Presso, a portable espresso maker. This is for making espresso on the go. Cool. A friend of mine has one of these, um, and he uses it when he goes camping. So wait a minute, you want an espresso on the go. You get the, the, the Wakako Nano Espresso machine. Also, you need some ground coffee and a flask of boiling water. Yes. Uh, hold the Nano Espresso with two hands, as shown above. Uh, one hand like this and one hand with the palm is going to go, yes, great. Start pumping above the cup. The first eight pumps. Four. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we start the coffee. I mean, that was bang on eight pumps. It makes it very clear in the instructions. This is for personal use, so it's not. You're not going to be making dozens <laughs> like this. Is it a good espresso? Well, obviously, it depends on what product you're putting into it. It's got a good texture to it. A good, a good crema. Works. It works well. Do you want to hazard a guess in price? Thirty quid. They're very proud of the time that it took to develop it. Possibly a bit more at, at, more at than 30 35 pounds. to 40 even. I'll, I'll get straight to the point. 68 pounds. Oh. I think <laughs> the market that that's aimed for, campers, are willing to spend a lot of money on that type of equipment and therefore I, I can see how people would buy that. I think that has a really good place in a lot of workplaces. Fair. Building sites. Um, place like that. Workshops. Where the workshops and or garages. Farms. Farms. Far anywhere that basically you might have access to boiling water. I think now... Sorry. Sorry, I just can't... I can't Stop! Really see. Evers is making a point. No, but I can imagine sitting here going... What's that noise? What's Ben doing? <laughs> I hope he's making coffee again. Oh, look at that crema! <laughs> <laughs> I feel like when you were at school, you'd have gone on work experience to a garage and maybe brought your Nano Presso with you. <laughs> that would have been you know, great. In between us, when I Will went to work experience. Yeah, yeah. Window cleaners. <laughs> <laughs> I 
James, useless or not? Ah, uh, it's not useless or not because it does what it says it does and it does it well, but it's too expensive. Ebers, useless or not? It's not aimed at me, but I think even at that price, that is useful. How's it looking, boys? It's looking good. The globules of drippy fat. Well, we've got another great gadget for you in the meantime. Would you like to lift the cloche? Ta-da! Ooh, hello. This looks like the kind of thing that I don't want to review with Ben. <laughs> Ooh, oh. I think it's oh, a grippy thing, but I don't imagine, I can't imagine what for. Is it supposed to? Is it an oven glove? Yeah. Um, I don't think I'd have ever got to that. Baking trays, oh, I know my silicon. You're right. This is the Mio Mitt, the magnetic ergonomic oven mitt. And obviously, because we love to plan, you have a preheated baking tray in the oven ready no. to test these with. I'll tell you what, my fridge is next to my oven at home, so mine would just be on the fridge. It's good, but you've got to be careful, haven't you? It's so close to being really amazing, but this bit needs to be a little bit longer, so you can really get your, like, my, my hands are coming out of it. Uh, this was actually crowdfunded on Indiegogo. In concept, it's genius because where you go, I need to get something out of the oven and I haven't got an oven glove to hand or a dry tea towel. But to have it on your hob or on the fridge next to it or the toaster or the whatever right there, that's really clever. They're so good, they're just really poorly designed. I feel like you need a deeper thumb hole, deeper finger holes and possibly a narrower thing to actually, because you've lost dexterity yeah, because like you've got a little it in, bit of a... you need a chute to get underneath the tray yeah. on an oven. I mean, I get the magnetic bit, but it's not strong enough magnet if it's got anything on the tray. Don't give your judgment or prices quite yet, because we're going to get you to review another gadget, and these might come in handy whilst reviewing that. Oh, that kebabs are so mm. good. <laughs> Something um, about eggs. Egg poaching pockets. Ebers, you're bang on. These are poachies. Egg poaching bags are a brilliant new invention. They make the tricky task of poaching eggs in water into a quick, easy and simple task. Place the pouch open in a cup and crack in an egg. Lift out, pulling the cup together. Hold for a second in a pan of water, then place it in. The pouch magically closes. Your egg will be cooked to perfection. Interesting they are dripping. Yeah, so they're that's, not that's why it says immediately, I guess. Set a timer for four and a half minutes. I guess this will make doing multiple eggs at the exact same time a lot easier. And I think you've got certainly a lot more control with this. I have real trouble with poached eggs. Can't do them. Or very inconsistently. And I've tried the vinegar method and I've tried the salt water method. And I just can't get them right. The shape. They just end up going... That's, and they're rubbish. That so is 100% your eggs. Is it? The eggs have to be fresh. And for poached eggs, I wouldn't use a fridge cold egg. Okay. Because you just you need a fresh egg, and if the egg is fresh, it will want to cling to itself. It won't want to spread out. Great, why well, I'm learning stuff. Remove each poachie with tongs or a slotted spoon and place on paper towel, allow to drain and cool slightly. Then this is the important bit, grip the poachie by the bottom seam and shake firmly but gently, and it should slide back out. As predicted, very uniform. Well, is it cooked? The cooking is down to the timing of the individual. We went for four and a half minutes and it's a good poached egg. It's a poached egg. It's got a good runny yolk. You could do multiple at a time. You can keep control. Do you think for someone like me, it will be useful because I physically can't make a poached egg? That's a lie. Maybe. I think everyone can poach an egg and I think it's one of the easiest things to do if you're prepared to give it a go and follow the instructions. And your um, Neomit, one of the selling points is that you can grip the sides of the pan, not get burnt. Does it feel safe? Does it feel grippy? It feels safe and grippy. So let's talk poachies first and then Neomit. How much do you think for a pack of six poachies? 50p. If that's more than 10% the cost of the egg, if that's more than 3p, then I think we're in, we've got a problem. A pack of six is £1.65. Equates to about 27p per. So that costs more than the egg you're going to cook in it. I'm out. What do you think? Useless or not, James? They're pretty useless, yeah. Okay. And the Mio Mitt, how much do you think for um, a set of two? £10. £9.99. I think £9.99 is a fair gambit, and I wish they had a deeper thumb hole. £15. Not magnetic, but for 15 quid you could buy seven or eight tea towels. Yeah, £9.99 seems more accessible to me. Useless or not? Yes, useless. Useless. 
Annoyingly so, because I quite like the concept, but yeah, useless. Yeah, amazing concept. Good luck. Wow! <laughs> it's a power tool. What is this? Whoa, Nobody. what is this? I'm gloving up. <laughs> what? <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> Ooh, there are blades involved in oh that. Oh my, what? Uh, this is so worrying. I am very worried about this. What are we boring into? And why do we have to clamp it to something? Scraping head. That's a scraping head. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, go on. What is really firm that you'd want to scrape the inside of that is that shape? Oh, I really hope it's like a Parmesan cheese wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this is the electric coconut meat scraper. Oh my God, get it away from it's me. <laughs> Horrendous. You're not plugged in yet, are you? I'm not plugged in. <laughs> you might want to read the instructions on this one. Hey, I'm not touching this one. Throwing in a little bonus gadget as well. Look at that. I'm are not you... touching that either. Mmm. Oh, that is lovely. Is it? It's good coconut that is water, delicious. Right? They're doing whatever it takes yeah. to avoid using this horrible machine. Right. Crack it. Well, gadget number one works brilliantly. As would the back of a knife. Oh, all right. right. Oh. <laughs> no, but I, I, I agree that the method, the method is very, very good. To be fair, whenever I look around a kitchen, like, I don't want to use any of these knives to do that because they're good knives. So this, it's okay. I'm really concerned about this. I am nervous. Here goes. Attach K-Drive on a strong table. Wear anti-cut protective gloves. <laughs> Ever as you put them on, you volunteered. Oh. Holy hell. Duck. <laughs> Who makes a device that looks like that? I'm not left handed, so I think you should do it, mate. I'm not <laughs> doing that. <laughs> Number four, we were already ahead of the curve. Make sure the power cord is not connected before while you attach this. <laughs> That's number four. Wouldn't it be amazing <laughs> if this actually was just excellent? Oh, God. It beat. No, I don't like it. I don't like it. Evers has just absolutely taken the reins on this. <laughs> what are you doing? He has nothing to live for. Take half a coconut, hold tightly with both hands. Oh, come on, mate. Oh, get, get back, back in, in the, the kitchen. kitchen. I don't in. want to be in the kitchen. Oh. It's not a pleasant experience. On a don't turn it off. Turn There's it off. no purchase on a coconut, so it's not a pleasant experience. Let's put it up a bit. Evers, <laughs> Evers, <laughs> careful, mate. Ben, it's not worth it, mate. Ben, 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 Ben. Ben, it's not ben, worth ben, it. Ben, 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 Ben. Evers, stop, stop, stop. Ben, 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 I don't like it. Stop. Step back, don't We've like it. it. We've tested it. We've tested it. Don't like it. Don't like it. Right, oh. let's put it away. <laughs> we care too much about you. You've got to stop, not it. stop there. Very firm flesh shaved into beautiful coconut snow. Can you stop it? It's a it's a health hazard. Nobody should buy this. That scared the absolute crap yep, out of me like watching. As great as these might be, they're not. Um, I don't think that they're would... They're rubber gloves! What other gadgets are out there that can help you shave a coconut? Spoon. Teaspoon. Let's move swiftly on. Guess a price. Can I just say, I think I've seen videos of people in street markets using one of those to do 100, 200 coconuts a day. That is not for home use. That is not for domestic use. And I don't think it's particularly safe because there's no safeguard on it and these are rubbish. How much? <laughs> oh yeah, that was the question, Thanks, wasn't mate. it? I just went on a bit of a rant there. <laughs> but what I want to say is it doesn't matter how much because I don't think it's aimed at us. I think it's a professional outfit. I would say it's probably 60 quid. 50 quid. 59 pounds 80. 20 p off, Evers. Well done. We will leave it at that. Oh! You know what that means? It's kebab time. <laughs> <laughs> I am buzzing. I put my life on the line today. This is my reward. <laughs> oh man, that looks and smells mm. amazing. I'll start the wraps. I mean, it's lamb, so a little bit of pink's okay, but that could take another hour. So how long's that been on? About 30 minutes. The best bit is that as it's cooking, all the fat strip into that bowl, which you then carve the meat into, toss it all together, and you get all those amazing marinating fatty juices on the meat. I'm excited. The lamb is great. So mm. great. What are you getting from a rotisserie that you wouldn't get from under the grill at home. Even cooking. At a slower... Because what you don't do is cook 
half of the meat from the top down to the middle, then turn it over and cook the other half from the bottom down to the middle. You're constantly heating the whole thing evenly. It smells exactly like a kebab shop. <laughs> oh, man. There's no denying that it. is as good as. That is beautiful. I'd say it's better because you know what's gone into it. You've made your own marinade. It works. Yep. How much, however, do you think it sells for and will that change your mind? I have to put this in the same realm as a desktop pizza oven. I think it's one of those things you would do occasionally with a group of friends. and I would put it in a similar price bracket to that particular bit of kit. Which was? I think it was about £100. So I would say 90 quid for that. I was it's a very that's... expensive toaster. I think it's 75 quid, 80 quid, 75. Would you still think it was a good product if you were to pay £89.99 for it? You said yeah. 90 quid. I said, yeah, I, absolutely. You could make some amazing things on that and you don't have to limit yourself to lamb. Well, boys, useless or not, you decide. Not. Mm -hmm. Just in case you missed the first two prompts, here's another one. Give the video a like and make sure you've clicked the bell to get your notifications turned on because on Wednesday, we're going to be reviewing the best and maybe the worst Christmas presents for foodies. Will they be good? Will they be dreaders? Who knows? Either way, there's lots of gift ideas there for you. Or Fingers not. Crossed. Or not. Yeah. Depends how much you like the person. Or the gift. I'm so glad you're back because it's Dad Joke of the Week. A friend of mine bought an old aeroplane. Uh, parked it up next to an airport, took the wings off, turned it into a restaurant. Right. I mean, it's all right, but I don't think it's going to take off. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you on Wednesday. Bye-bye. As we mentioned, we don't just make top quality YouTube videos. No. We've built the Sorted Club, where we use the best things we've learned to create stuff that's hopefully interesting and useful to other food lovers. Check it out if you're interested. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in a few days. <laughs> oh, sorry, I think I just flipped ben. something. Oh, sorry. How did I get there? I'm not entirely sure how That's not going to help. I love having both of them in the kitchen at the same time. I didn't realise how much they flirted. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. That's so tender. <laughs> <laughs>